Multiplying and dividing terms. Unlike adding and, addition, uh, adding and subtracting terms, where we have to add and subtract like terms, we can multiply and divide any terms with each other. Now remember we said that if I have um, 4AB, it actually means that this is 4 times A times B. And the order doesn't matter. If I say, um, let's say, 2 times 3 times 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4, 24, okay, and I say, so this is 24, if I say 2 times 3 times 4, and I say 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 12 equals 24, the order that I do this in doesn't matter, which means I can move these around. I can say 4 times 3 times 2 in any order. 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. So the order doesn't really matter at all. That's why we can shift them around. Only thing that you have to remember there. The only other thing that you need to remember is the following. If I have A plus A plus A. So if I have A plus A, 1A plus another A is 2 of those A's. So apple plus an apple is 2 apples. Um, if I say A plus A plus A, A is 1 apple plus another A. It's 2 apples plus another one is 3 apples. It's 3A. However, if I'm multiplying, if I say A times A, that becomes A squared. And A times A times A equals A cubed. So that is what um, you need to know about multiplying. With dividing, if they tell us that, um, let's say 12AB, divide by, and sometimes they put it in brackets, let's say 9AD, we write it as a fraction. We're going to say it's 12AB, divide by 9AD. Now, if I, if I had to substitute values in there, and let's say A is A value and B is another value, we substitute values in, then it will be 12 times A, so let's say 12 times 2, but then we're also going to divide by 2. Now, if I multiply by 2 and then divide by 2, I'm going to get the same answer. If I say 12, what is 12 times 2? Well, it's 24. Divide by 2, it's 12. So I might as well not do that step. So what I do is I simplify before I multiply, which means I'm going to say A divide itself once, and we also do the same as what we've done previously with fractions. We say we simplify 12 and 9. What's the highest common factor for 9 and 12? It seems to be 3, so 3 divide into 9 3 times, 3 divide into 12 4 times. There's nothing else that matters, so my answer will be 4, times 1 times b is 4b divided by 3 times 1 times d is d. Please have a look at the examples to explain any further.